guys, welcome to Views and Opinion. This week's Views and Opinion is interesting, exciting, because it's about Valentine's Day. Valentine is a season of love where we don't only show love to those we're in relationship with, but for those in prison, the needy, the less privileged, and the uh, motherless babies. I spend my Valentine's Day today, my loved ones, most especially my family, my wife and my child. Valentine's is a day you spread love, share love, tell your loved ones how you feel about them. It's just all about love. I'm only here to wish everybody happy Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day, also known as the Feast of St. Valentine, is celebrated every 14th of February each year to mark the death anniversary of one of the early Christian legends. The Feast of St. Valentine is a liturgical celebration originated from a Roman festival as a Western Christian feast day in honor of St. Valentine. It is recognized as a religious and cultural celebration of romance, affection, and love in many regions of the world. Some ancient stories have told the history of St. Valentine. One legend contains that Valentine was a priest who served during the 4th century in Rome in the time of Emperor Claudia II, who believed that recruitment for the army was down because the married men did not want to leave their wives and families behind. So he cancelled all marriages and engagements in Rome. Valentine, realizing the injustice, kicked against it and continued to perform marriages for young lovers in secret. When Valentine's actions were discovered by Claudia, he was arrested, beaten, and thrown into prison. As Valentine was awaiting execution, he fell in love with a blind girl who happened to be the jailer's daughter. On the eve of his execution, he sent his first Valentine greeting himself. Valentine was said to have written out a sonnet in ink that is squeezed from Violet. He wrote, from your Valentine, an expression that is still in use today. Legend has it that his word made the blind woman see again. It was a brief romance because the Valentine was put to death the next day. All the stories of St. Valentine emphasizes on Valentine as a sympathetic, heroic, and most importantly, romantic figure. In recent times, Valentine's Day became associated with romantic love. It is also celebrated with friends, parents, children, family members, and well-wishers. While some people look forward to celebrate love on Valentine's Day, others have argued that you don't have to wait for Valentine's Day to celebrate love. On this day, couples, families, and friends express their love for each other, presenting flowers, gifts, and greeting cards. Today, as we celebrate St. Valentine, so many people are seen on the streets putting on red and white, which is symbolic to the color of love. Most of the recreational centers have been filled with people who have come out to catch some fun with their loved ones. Let's spread love to everyone, reach out to people, put smile on the faces of the needy, poor and marginalized. Valentine's Day is all about spreading love. So what what is the significance of that, you know, if you're to say of what he did? Um, I think he just wanted the couples to be happy. Let me say he cared yes, for them, you know. Exactly. Yeah. He just wanted to like create an atmosphere where you can express love and yes. feelings. Because I think before even before he wedded these couples, probably he has been doing that for a while before the man got to meet him or got to speak with him. So he stood for passion and love. I think that circulates this Valentine we are celebrating. So since Valentine didn't just like I love people, he acted on it. You know, he did what he said. You know, some people say I love people, but they don't actually love yeah. anybody. But he loved people and his acting, his actions. You know, is 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 corresponds like to what he's saying. Nice, I think yeah. that's very nice of him. Okay, presently a lot of people celebrate it in different ways. What are the ways you think that someone could? express this love to one another for me i don't think it is just narrowed to you know the a spouse yeah, or yeah. you know yeah, it has correct. to extend to your family and that's why i'm asking what are the best way to express this should it be just for you and your couple your couple okay, okay. You and your friend or all of that so of what course, is so presently yeah. when people are talking about celebrating valentine it's if you, what you want to talk about family you can go to your family have fun you know just about things Personal matters, 
group matters you understand family matters and then everybody brings opinion you laugh you joke or you can celebrate it in the house throw an in-house party you are talking about family an in-house party everybody make noise you know this you share love you understand you share everybody is happy with each other then if you're bringing it down to your spouse of course you can buy gifts for your husband or for your wife you understand then you could go out if you want or you could still stay indoor and do something crazy something fun this is still an opinion we will see you again next week my name is ola mavivia chinana and and mr edit emmanuel and this is amotala jacobs nice to meet you guys please like our post and follow us on all our social media platforms drop your comments in the comment section Bye. Bye.